Hi folks, and welcome back to Conan Exiles. This will be episode 6 of Let's Play Sipta series. And in the very end of the last episode, we tamed this guy here, the Stygian Fighter 3. However, I have not been very impressed with him because I've been trying to level him up a little bit off camera. But if we have a look at his stats, so he started with a strength of 0. He had an agility of 12. A vitality of five and grit of three so because he only has 60 percent vitality but i've given him the plus 14 boost so he should have 74 percent chance but at level five he has only gained one point in vitality and three points in agility but managed to get five in strength so he's a little bit stronger doing a little bit more damage but his health has gone up only a tiniest amount. He started off with 2,057 and he's now got 2,108 after five levels. So only one point out of five levels. So it's like, well, these, these stats are just pretty poor. So what I did was I went back to the camp and I got another one, which is this guy here. And if we look at his stats, so there's the starting stats. He's still level zero, zero, 12, five, three. But he's also got 60% chance of vitality, 60% stat strength. 50% chance on agility and 75 on grit. So it's like, these should be random. But certainly on Exile Lands, these stats, if it's the same kind of guy, these stats is always the same, but this is random and should vary up and down. And all that's happened here is this has got a little bit 10% higher. So I went to try and get another one and uh, the I was getting really bad luck. I just kept getting Fighter 2s, but eventually got an Archer 3. And if we look at Archer 3, he had exactly the same stats, the 0, 12, 5, 3, but slightly different. So unfortunately, he's got an even lower agility, and he's a, an agility guy. But in five levels, he's managed to get three levels of vitality, a, six levels of grit, three levels of strength, and four levels of agility. So he's come out slightly better, but yeah, still, still not leveling very well, because even at level five, with an extra three levels, he's still only 2,211. And my original Exile 3, who started off with 490 health, he's, I mean, he's at 2,646 at the moment. But yeah, never mind. So we'll, we're going to go with this guy. We've given him a short sword, we're giving him an agility weapon. Even though he says he's an archer, um, we're giving him an agility short sword. Uh, steel one with a damage kit, 38% and 17 or we'll level him up in vitality for the certainly for the moment get his health up as much as we can because he is doing a decent amount of damage to be fair but the point of this episode is when i played this before if i bring up the map somewhere i can't remember exactly but somewhere around this area up here there is a camp that has a a playful pup and a playful pup is the puppies of the, the dogs that you see around the island. And they are like the tier 4 version. So you get a playful pup, you put it in an animal pen and you grow it up. And it's a guaranteed tier 4 blue glowy eyes named puppy. And they tend, or they were very strong. So I'm going to try and get one of them. And I'm also going to go into it's kind of this area here. And we're going to try and get ourselves a horse foal. But before we do that, I want to make myself a better weapon. But before I do that, I want to finish off the steel smith journey that we've got going at the moment. So I will also show you that when I was running back and forth to that camp, I ended up getting tier 3, got tier 3 carpenter, blacksmith, smith, I think it's only a tier 2 smelter. Uh, we've got a tier 3 alchemist. We've got a tier 3 armorer so the tier 2 one over here and we've got a tier 3 tanner so we seem to the the one a crafting thrall that you get at this point here along with a stygian fighter has a pretty high chance of being at least a tier 3 i haven't seen any tier 4s yet and also while leveling up the fighter we were in a river watch keep there and i finally found something in a cage and it was a tier 2 bearer so few levels on her she started off at like 1000 health she's up at 1600 now i give her a table leg to 
to play with. So she'll actually become my gathering thrall. She's got 15 slots um, and decent decent health and strength, so she'll come out gathering items with me. Right, so the next stage in the steel smith, as you can see in the top right, is craft steel fire. Steel fire is done in here and needs tar and brimstone. Got loads of tar in here now. Put that in there. And craft it. I just pick it up, does that? That, that does it. Craft a steel bar. So we'll put that in here. And it'll turn the iron into steel. Take the steel bar over, there we go. Craft a steel weapon. Uh, let's craft another short sword. Give that to, I think I stole your weapon off you yet. Yeah, so I'll give that weapon to you. What I actually want to make, let's see, we go to armor, is this is the steel battle axe, the Sumerian battle axe. I actually want to make that for myself. I'm still rocking an iron battle axe, uh, or an iron axe. Steelsmith journey complete. So, oh, because we'd already, it already filled that in, but we'd done the steel tool, so, so it pre-remembered that, and it filled that in automatically, but it just doesn't do that with all things. But remembered we crafted a steel tool and it now got it we craft a steel weapon. So what did we learn? Journey step. Uh, we learned perfected steel light weapons. So perfected. Okay. Where did we learn them then? Knowledge. Perfected. Oh, do we have to claim it? Ah, oh, we have to claim it. Of course. Oh, and we've got 50 steel fire as well. Nice. Yeah, put the steel fire in here. For the moment. Alright, so... Let's look at my Sumerian battle axe, which is 33. And the perfected... Oh, it's still... Where is it? Uh, knowledge. Ancestral knowledge. Is it in weapons? Specialist archer bows. Perfected. There it is. Crafted at any... Oh, because it's not called Perfected, it's just called a Steel Battle Axe. Okay. So... So it's 36. What was the Cimmerian again? I've forgotten that already. 33. Okay, so we are going to make... This one. need a damage kit on it. Uh, can we make the better one yet? Oh, wait a minute. There was a... Let's make sure we get this in the right order. So, hard and steel. What one was it? One of them needed... A tinkerer one? I think. Tinkerer. Unlock weaponsmith knowledge. Switch journey to that. Knowledge. Weaponsmith, okay. That pick that up. Access a tinkerer's bench. Done. Repair a damaged weapon. How the damage is that damage? It is a little bit. Repair. Repair a weapon. Drag the repair kit onto it. Ah, okay. Did we have repair kit somewhere? There we go. 
and not just repair it, but repair it with a repair kit. Let's grab a weapon out of here. And can't repair this item any further. Is it damaged? Huh? Uh, this one? There we go. Alright, let's put that back in the box. Unlock the armor smith knowledge. So, armor. Armor smith knowledge. Craft a thin armor plating. So what do we need for that? Armor plating. Where is the thin armor plating? Thin armor plating crafted at the Tinkerer bench. Oh, there it is. Was that there before? Or I didn't. Go blind. There we go. Apply a thin armor plating to armor. Right, I've got some spare armor over here. Let's just grab that. Oh, I picked it up with me. Get that on there. Apply an upgrade to a tool. Okay, well, I want to do that. Weapon kit. So, steel bar and 10 oil. Give me 10 steel bars. And create weapon repair kit. Okay, crafted my steel axe. Yep. Put that armor back in the box. Puts it up to 43 from 30. So, big upgrade. Add an upgrade to a tool. All my tools are currently already upgraded. So let me... Okay, I, I'm going to ignore that. We'll be going down a rabbit hole there. Right, I'm going to give you the sword. Uh, I'm going to... What have you got food-wise? I'm going to give you some food. Oh no, what I need to do is check the... I need to check this and see. So what I want to do is I want to tame a beast. So it needs to unlock animal tamer, craft an animal pen, and then capture a baby animal. So I probably have to do that in the right order. So let's do that now. So survival. Animal tamer. that one. Okay. And craft an animal pen. Is that still done in here? No, it's done with the... Crafting station companions. I want the small animal. Hopefully I can get away with a small animal pen. So it needs 75 stone, 100 wood and 5 twine. Don't have any stone left. I probably don't have any wood left. Okay, so. 75 stone. There we go. And then 100 wood. 84, 104. And then a little bit of twine, which should be here. There we go. Right, so what I like to do with these guys is I actually like to put them in from the back. Oh, it's going to be a bit awkward here, is it, with it? Whoop. We can put it over on the side. It's not flat enough.
on too much of a slope. Oh. There, that'll do. Right. And then you need to raise an animal. So then, then if I go and get the animal, that's fine. Where's the horse one? Outrider. Unlock stable master. Place a stable. Capture a foal. So exactly the same idea there. Uh, almost guaranteed if I go and capture a foal, bring it back and then make the stable, it won't won't work. Uh, outrider. Switch journey. Alright, same idea. Five. Stable. Needs 15 brick, 10 shape wood, 10 twine. Okay. Up on the dark. Fifteen brick, ten wood, and ten. You can have that and that. You can chuck away that. Give me ten of them, and then ten twine. All right, stable. So let's turn it on its side. Park it right next to it. There we go. We have the stable. Capture a foal. Right. After all that, right, get you some food. And we'll go on a bit of adventure. So, set you to guard me. Yeah, give you your food. Follow. Right, so the first place we're going to go is we're going to head up the coast here um, and then we'll aim wherever it is with some camp round about, round about here somewhere. So I don't imagine this will be particularly exciting. Oh, yeah, I've got my new axe here. Uh, so I'll probably just cut when I get a bit closer or until I get a bit closer and uh, or I'll, if I come across anything exciting I will I'll bring you up. Okay, see you soon. Right, well, we've made it up the coast, so we've, we've come up the beach, killing a, a few crocs and a few of those ard wolf things. So we're now going to head inland, and there should be oh, there's a pelican, but there should be some cliffs here. Oh, but it actually looks like right there is a. Oh, don't even have to climb up the cliffs, there's a place I can run up. Of course the maelstrom is on at the moment. Uh, oh, zigzagged up. Right, let's have a look and see. What's up here? I think... Oh, it's a... What are those things called? What is that? Brimstone. Is. Oh, you can hear just hear the oh, it's wolves, little wolf statues. So that's one of the vault. Oh, look, there's a werewolf guy there. What looks like black eyes. So it's not that because it's just a camp I'm looking for. So it must be a little bit further north. That's one of the, I guess it's like a dungeon for Sipta, so we'll, we will be tackling them, but just not right now. We've got to hopefully get some better crawls first. Right. What's around here? What's that there? Oh, it's a, a boar. Oh, there's a wolf guy over there as well. What? Pull the boar with the boat. Don't know how tough those guys are, but we're just not going to chance it right now because that's not what we're here for. 
And let's take the cleaver out. May as well get us some. Oh, we've got pork and exquisite meat. That's even better, because I believe we need exquisite meat to uh, feed the, the pup. That was something I was going to be looking for. But we found it. I didn't actually realise he got exquisite meat off of a boar. Any camps around here? Oh, this is it. This is the one. Right. Ah, that boar's dead. Oh, there's the puppy right there. Right, run in. Grab the puppy. Uh, give it to you, because it's really heavy. Ah, oh, they're not... They're not hugely difficult. Oh, Stygian fighter with that pokey stuff. Melter 3. Would actually like you. Could you actually take on the fighter for me, please? And I'll worry about the other ones. damage numbers up. There you go. Bled to death. Alright, now we're getting on over here. Oh, he's, he's doing fine. Go. Uh, I'll eat. Alright. You got anything nice on you? I'll take that. You have got that. Yeah, when I came up here before, I don't know whether that's a boss boar or what there's... Uh, they normally run off to fight this. Oh, it's it's just a upside down one. Eh, uh, let me see if I can get some more exquisite meat from it then. Mm, no, I didn't. Okay, never mind. Take that. Take your arrow. Nothing in there. Okay, right, excellent. So, now we've got that, we need to go and get the foals. And the foals are kind of in this area here. So we'll maybe head over in this direction to this bit. I'm not sure if they're there. And then we can work our way over here. And then work our way back to base. So, first of all, we have to get down from here. without encountering things that are too difficult to fight. Into the redwoods. Oh, there's an elk. Take him on. Oh, and there's a there's green poisony stuff coming from What do you get if you chop him up? Apart from flying away. An elk head. Still no more exquisite meat. Oh, getting a bit heavy. Let's get rid of some of that and that. these guys are. Oh, they're only 800... 835. Excuse me, sir. Could you put some clothes on? Ah. 
They should be much harder for something as big and scary as that. And what do we get if we chop them up? Feral flesh. Tons of feral flesh. Well, we don't want that. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, is there anything under? It's like a troll in a troll cave. That purple smoke down there. I never thought about building a sandstorm mask because uh, there isn't any sandstorms on this map but I guess it is still poison areas right oh, oh that's actually there is a maelstrom going on just now another one over there and a bear oh Hello. A lynx, is it? Let's get the bleeds going on him. That was done. Eh, when do we get? Any more exotic meat out of these guys? Lynx head, feral flesh, and no. Claws, feral flesh, no. Nah. Rid of that, 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 that. Okay. Onwards. Another bear. Oh, oh. That sounded like something else. Oh, another lynx. Do you come in pairs? Island lynx. 14,000 XP and they were super easy. to skin them and get their fur and their thick hide, but we just have, have the carry weight on this journey. Yeah, I went through this way. Another. I never actually noticed what they were called when we were fighting them. I'm going to fight another one just to see what they're called. Oh, another lynx. Uh, why is my shield not? There we go. Child of Gula. Oh, that's interesting. Because that potions are tears of Gula that gives you extra follower damage. Interesting. Who's Gula? Um, do you know? Oh, and another one? It's, yeah, a bit, a bit Yeti-like, but with like a... a what's the Star Wars guy? Deveronians? With the sort of, like, horns on them? Twenty thousand XP. More pigs. Let's fight more pigs. Even get more of that exotic flesh, exotic meat, exotic meat. Weird. I got it off the first one, but then didn't get any off the rest. Again. 
that one. Got some of that down. There we go. Got twelve. Right. Uh, this way. Right. We we'll have to stop fighting everything we see. There's another bear. Let's get a move on and see if we can get to where we actually want to be. Here, another bear. This way. Get out into that grassy plains area. Step away. And then try and find a fool. Oh, this doesn't look like a grassy plate. Plains area. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's finishing. Good. Oh, is that another one of these places? Another vault. Some weird things are. Oh, this doesn't look like I can even get round here. Get up there. Oh, yeah, well, I can see. Must be something down there. Okay, that's fine, because I didn't want to be walking into that zone in the middle of the maelstrom. Climb up here. Totally wrong part. If I can get around here. Looks like there's a structure over there. That's where I want to go to, over there. How do I get there? Because I got to take a guess that I don't want to be anywhere near this building. At least yet. Alright, let's see if we can get down here. Oh. Landed on your head. You're black eyes. You are black eyes. And down here. And down here. Okay. Right, so... Now we just need to start scanning for some folds. What's that there? A pig? Or pigs? Oh, a weird looking rhino thing. Deer thing. Rock nose over there. Another rhino thing. Where am I? Yeah, should 
still in the sort of general area. Up on, up on a bit higher. No, nope, another deer. There's a normal rhino. on the map. Ooh, look. I think they are lay shrine. Here's a horse. I see a horse. And I think that's where you go to summon a surge. It's a, very much a prancing pony. Got yet. You can carry that. Did I see another one over here. that too yeah, I need a drink of water there we go skeleton oh Sumerian or oh, what they call the cursed here right so I need to go back this direction Right, yeah, and see if I can scout round that area, because that probably... Oh, it's a wolf! <laughs> Sundered. Would you get your sword out instead of kicking it? That's better. 51 damage. That's better. See another one straight ahead. do I get over to that ramp bit? They're constantly getting attacked by wolves. Oh, out of stamina. Yeah, this heavy armour is not good for my stamina. swap down to a medium set which is my normal armor that I would use we've got a half decent follower now this one seems to be getting on fine now 2700 at level 7 so hopefully I won't be taking Whoa, what the hell is that? Oh, phew. <laughs> that sounded a lot worse than what it actually is. There we go. Okay, so I can get up this ramp. More... Rock nose around. out the ground. Ooh. Bastard. 
third stand. Was that? Yeah, that's that. Building. Camp, whatever it may be there. Alright, so I don't want to get too close to it. But I'm going to have to go past it. Can't, oh, there is sentries there. Stygian, Stygian sentries. Oof. bunch of points to spend by now. Let's see if we can get somewhere safer to spend them. It kind of looks like we're heading down back into the red woods again, so we should be... Ooh, it's a gorilla. Silverback gorilla. Up there. More links. Building over there as well. I should get thick hide off of these guys as well, but I'm pretty full, so not today. Loads of them. Loads and loads of them. over here. What was that? Oh, okay. Wanna see if we can get this marked on the map if it indeed has a name. Stygian Archer, two archers. Uh, ah, you got that's the path that you want. Another archer, Anatana. Struggling to get them because they're on the edge of a platform. I don't have my healing out. Die. Hey, healing there. Okay. And you're right on the edge of a cliff, so that's not very much use. Take that. Black Corsairs have taken an interest in our affairs and have begun attacking our fleet. You have nothing to fear, soldiers. So long as you give no credence to their rumors of their savagery, cannibal ways, and penchant for torture they capture. Eyes open. Okay. Uh, you should be spending an awful long time fighting. Oh, you got him now. 
a E to interact with what? Stygy intent. Ah, okay. So it didn't actually mark this on the map. It doesn't got a name. But we've been there now. And yeah, I need to get down into that redwood somehow or other. Another gorilla. Yes. Launch yourself down here. Yeah. Pretty much. Okay, so we're in the redwoods now. We just have to kind of follow that back. Get it back to camp. Okay. Unless something exciting happens, I will see you when we get back to camp. See you in a bit. Right, so we've made it back to camp again, and you should have the creature, so we'll pick the pup and put it in here. And give you, oh, no, put it in here and give you need one piece of that. And it'll start, oh, it's going to tell you who it is, so that one is going to be Ares. So that'll start taming up, and then we will stop that journey step and go over to this one. <sighs> Unbelievable. Will that work? No. So we should have had that one active when we captured the foal, and we didn't. This is ridiculous. But we're going to put that in there. I'm sure at some point in time we'll capture another foal. Give it some fibre and we start growing up our horse. Okay, now we just have to wait for these two uh, to happen. And I will bring you back when they're ready. Right, welcome back. So, as you can maybe just see in the animal ben pen behind me, Ares has now levelled up. So, there he is. There we go, raise an animal complete. So now we place the pet. Down. So you see he's got the glowy eyes of a tier 4, so he's got 1119 HP to start with. Uh, let's look at his stats. So 8 in strength, 2 in vitality, and 2 in grip with a 82% chance for a strength grow. So yeah, just kind of need to get his vitality up a little bit. So uh, where does it show you? It looks like human flesh is actually the the one that gives him the boost for that. Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't eat feral flesh at all. Hmm, okay, interesting. Oh, well, I could chuck that away. Right, so feed your pet. Right, let's go and get him some human flesh then. So follow behavior engagement guard me. Head over to our friends over here. Bit much that he, he needs feral flesh. One, uh, what was that? Yeah, definitely need to swap his armor for a medium armor set. I'm just no use with the the heavy armor. Let's pull you to start with. And he's off. 
Oofed. 99 damage. Oh my god. Uh, Alright, so let's chop these guys up. What did he have? Oh, I'll pick your arrow. got the force feed in. Yeah, okay, that's a bit weird. Give your pet an instruction. Certainly can. Well, let me just check your stats now. Yeah, so human flesh is the boost to vitality. Isn't got a level yet. Hello! Anybody want to meet my dog? Attack. I got them both at once. <laughs> uh, take those arrows. Get out of the way. Uh, what are you? You were an armor three. Okay, right. Let's see if we can go down to the crocs and see if we can get you what XP you like. 343. So 2450 for what level. So a croc will give us that. Very little XP from a human. But at level 0, already doing 99 damage. And I think their perks are fixed. Oh. Maybe maybe not, but I seem to remember that the perks are, are fixed. You don't get like a random perk. So you always get good perks on them. Eh... Uh, can't see in the dark. There it is. Right, go and get that guy. Hundred and thirty damage from that punch. Follower leveled up. So, I've, I've leveled them. Level up your pet. Alongside you, doing so will increase the stats of your pet and key levels. Unlock parks that set your pet apart. Surely you don't have to level them all the way up. Eh, okay, so we got... Kill that guy. Follower leveled up again. Oh, there we go. Did it that time. Beastmaster, which gives us the rat catcher's whistle. And some shade bloom. Right, if we go and look for a rat catcher's whistle. It needs fiber, wood, and putrid meat. Not you. One bite for that one, please. 140 damage. <laughs> that is crazy. How many curry slots have you got? 10 as well. Uh, Put meat in here. We do. Hit that, we get that. pet rat for ear. Weird, never mind. Okay, right, so Aries is going to be fantastic. Oh, and we've got a horse now as well. Let's just park you here to start. So we got a chestnut horse. 
But, of course, we can change the horse. So, in previous series, we've had the undead horse, which is this one, and the white horse, which is this one. But, um, other options you've got, if you have the riders of Rohan, you can have the black horse or the white horse. So, I think since we had the white horse with a W, we've got to have, well, W-I-G-H-T, we've got to have a white horse, W-H-I-T-E, the colour of the horse this time. So for that, we need, where's the chestnut one there? Chestnut one and tainted fodder. I have made an alchemy table, and tainted fodder is one gruel, one yellow lotus, and one aloe, which is just plants aligned all over the place. So let's make one of them. One gruel, take that away. Right, and then go back down to here. So, chestnut horse and tainted fodder craft gives us a white horse. Lovely. And we'll put it. Name him Silver for anybody who gets that reference. Right, I've also made a saddler's work table in here. And the basic. What have we got? A uh, rhino. A couple of different. Oh, what's that? Hard and steel. Yeah, we'll just make a normal light saddle at the moment. Craft that up. How much health has he got? Starts off with 1,830. They got a big boost in the chapter 3. So once, once he's leveled up to like level 20, he'll have well over 10,000 HP. But yeah, they got, they got a big buff. Where, who has the... You have the other horse. Let's just get that one growing so we've always got a spare one ready. Oh, we've got, we've got food. Best that in there as well. Right, saddle ready yet? It is. Saddle, and they particularly like vines. Where are you going to get vines from in this map? Hey, but they also like highland berries, so we've got a bunch of highland berries somewhere. Highland berry bushes all over the place. off. Go into inventory and put the berries in your inventory and then get on. And if you just ride it, it will level up. There we go. Level 1. Up to 2,000. Yeah, looks good. All white. Oh no, uh, I was about to say I didn't swap the journey steps over, but we were missing the one of picking up the foal anyway, so. Let's get you up the hill. Level 2, up to 2600 health already. So yeah, these, these guys level up pretty quick just by riding them. So there we go. next to Aries. And there we have our uh, the object of today was to go up and get a playful pup. Is he coming up the hill? He is indeed. <laughs> He's come all the way across. Going, oh yeah, you punch him to death. Come on. There we go. Yeah, so the, like like I was trying to say before I was so rudely interrupted, and now you're facing back to front. Right. The object was to get a playful pup and grow it up into one of the big demon dogs. So we've got Ares, and we've also got ourselves a horse. Yeah, and we've got a spare one, just getting itself ready. So yeah, successful day. Okay, that's all due for this episode, so... 
Thank you so much for watching, as always. If you liked the episode, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.